Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compounds part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Why the carbon is so special? Why, why it is that carbon has such a huge number of compounds, right? One reason is that carbon forms covalent bond. The second is there are four electrons in the valence cell and that's one of the reasons why it forms covalent bond. It self combined to form long chain and there are different forms of carbon called graphite, diamond and bulk nest of is one we will discuss. So, the first point is the carbon forms covalent bond. If you are not clear what the covalent and uh, ionic bonds are, so I will explain uh, in or you can watch my previous videos on that or let me just explain it once again. For example, you talk about sodium chloride NaCl, right? So this guy, sodium, wants to lose one extra electron because it has one extra electron in the outer bits shell. Extra, one extra, one extra. So this guy is more stable in Na+. This guy is stable now. Chlorine needs one guy because it has seven uh, electrons in the extra shell and that extra shell will be filled if it has eight electrons, right? So the, the, the valence electron it will take one electron from sodium and it will become Cl minus. Both are stable. Both are stable. Na plus is stable. Note Na is not stable. Cl is not stable because Na has one extra electron and Cl has one less electron. If you compare that with the uh, filled ones. So this guy want to lose one electron. This becomes Na plus and why that is called metal. metal. And Cl will take one electron and become Cl minus and that is called non-metal. Now they are stable. But if you see it is stable but it has got a positive charge it has got a negative charge but they are stable so this positive guy will be attracted towards the negative guy right and uh, they'll form a bond and this kind of bond is called uh, ionic bond ionic bond so in this case if you see na had one extra electron so it gave one electron to cl right got a positive charge chlorine since it took an electron this becomes cl minus got a negative charge but they are stable Na plus is stable Cl minus stable now they since they have charge with them so there is a attraction between Na plus and Cl minus and they form a bond and that bond will ionic bond because they are all ions right the second kind of bond is seen with the uh, it's called covalent bond where if you see this is a carbon and uh, carbon wants to form a bond with, let's put an example of carbon dioxide, CO2, right? So carbon has how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? 6 in the extra, the, the, the valence shell. Sorry, carbon has 4, carbon has 4, yeah, carbon has 4. Oxygen has 6. So oxygen, let's suppose, it has 6 here, right? One more oxygen I'll put has 6 here. Now carbon has to has four electrons in the valence cell it is mentioned here since it has four electrons it has it has to take four to become uh, stable or it has to get four because if it gets four it becomes four plus four that is eight that is a stable number right for this shell or if it is loose four it becomes zero zero is also okay right it's stable in that case so it can't take four, it can't give four, right? I'll explain that why why it can't take four, why it give, can't give four in the next few slides. So in this case, what will happen is they will share the electron. So if you see in this case, it will share two electrons with this oxygen and it will share two electrons with this oxygen. So in that case, oxygen also, if you see here, it had six electrons, it wanted to take electron. It wanted two extra electron but oxygen is not ready to give electron because it has six right it needs only two to give, become uh, stable it, it, it will not give six so in that case oxygen is telling okay let's share carbon is saying let's share because both both are here willing to take electron if you see carbon oxygen both are non-metals both are willing to take electrons nobody is ready to give electrons in that case when both person want the same thing and nobody is willing to give they share, right? In the real life also, right? In this case, NaCl, sodium wanted to give, chlorine wanted to take. So they had this pact, very easy pact, where one wanted to give, one wanted to take, and they have formed this NaCl, right? They got this positive and negative charge. 
But in this case, nobody is willing to give. Common want to take, oxygen want to take. In that case, what should we do? So they have a golden rule of middle path where they say, uh, don't give me, let's share. So in this case, they uh, common feels that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Carbon has a feeling that it has eight electrons, but actually these electrons share. Oxygen also has a feeling that it has eight electrons. How? One, two, three, four, five, six. It had two electrons. It, it shared with carbon, right? So this particular oxygen feels that it has eight electrons and feels satisfied. Okay, yeah, I am stable, but actually it is not, right? The other oxygen also takes two electrons from carbon and feels that it is stable. Correct. With this, both are happy, carbon and oxygen. Such kind of bond where they share electrons to get a feel that they are stable is called covalent bond. So we'll explain more on that. We'll uh, take more examples. Let's understand that in case of um, my ionic bond, they actually transfer electrons, right? One got positive, one get negative, and then the bonds form. In case of covalent, there is no polarity actually, if you see, right? There is no polarity. There is no plus, there is no minus sign. It's just a shared electron. Correct. There is something called polar covalent bond also. There is something called polar covalent bond. For example, in working of water, H2O, so we have like this, oxygen has uh, 6, right? It wants uh, 1 from this guy, it takes 1 from this guy. So if you see, now it is all shed because oxygen had 6, it took 1 from this hydrogen, 1 from this hydrogen, it shared actually. So oxygen got a feel that it has eight electrons. It is happy with that, correct? So if you see, oxygen had a six one with all dots. Oxygen has hydrogen has two with all star. Now oxygen shared uh, one hydrogen atom in this and one hydrogen atom in this. Oxygen get a, got a feel that it has got eight electrons. It's happy. Hydrogen also got two because it has shared this guy shared and this guy shared, right? So both hydrogen also happy. But in this case oxygen is more electronegative oxygen badly needs electrons so what will happen is they are shared the electrons are shared but oxygen will attract this particular guy more right this guy will be more attracted towards oxygen because oxygen is dire in need of electrons since they are they are sharing but it's not 50 50 sharing it's not 50 50 sharing it is like maybe 70 percent of the time the oxygen the particular electron is with oxygen and 30% of the time it is hydrogen. That's why since the electron is spending more time with oxygen, this guy will get a slightly negative charge and this hydrogen item will get a slightly positive charge, right? Because the oxygen is more inclined towards ox, the electron is more inclined towards oxygen. So oxygen is getting slight negative charge and this kind of bond is called polar coin bond where we have a slight polarity and it has a covalent bond. So these things will study more but just uh, took care of I did that so now we have a special case of carbon it has covalent bond it has four electrons in the valence cell it self combines to form a long chain we'll explain that For example carbon can combine with another carbon right like this and can create a big chain and we have different forms of carbon graphite diamond and uh, bulk minister fuller one, one more was there where it is all carbon but the structure the way it is organized the internal structure is different and that's why they look different. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.